Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us back to Oldham, where we are going to be exploring the lost city of the Tolvir, the instance that is uh, kind of in the middle of Oldham. Actually, nope, 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 in the in the lower part. <laughs> it is between the Halls of Origination, Throne of the Four Winds, and the Vortex Pinnacle. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to get out of bounds, and uh, let's get going. Now, this is a very simple out-of-bounds glitch, as uh, it doesn't take too much to do. Now, when you first come through the dungeon, you're just going to want to make your way over this pretty bridge. And then you're going to want to make your way to the right side here. Ignore the enemies. You can kill them if you want. It's up to you. We're going to jump on top of here. And then we're going to jump on top of here. And that's it. You're basically already out of bounds. So we're going to fly out this way. Now, for whatever reason, Blizzard didn't really put any death walls or anything out here. Now, there are a few walls we are going to hit coming out this way very soon. We're going to be hitting our first one here in a minute. But we can just jump through them. It's not a big deal. Shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, we might need to do the pillow. Uh, okay, there goes one. And okay, so we're gonna need to use our pillow toys here. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna sit in this, and then we're gonna hit another wall coming up. I've already experimented out of this dungeon a little bit already. So just a heads up. Because I wanted to know how to break out of bounds. And we were, then we're gonna hit another wall right around here. But we should, I know coming up, we should be able to jump out somewhere we might have to use another pillow okay so we're gonna put another pillow down and we're just gonna keep moving along here now and we hit another wall <laughs> there we go now we can jump so we're gonna make our way up the stairs and i think that should be the last wall if i remember correctly nope one more there we go all right we are officially out of bounds now in the lost city of the tolvir so Let's go take a look around and let's go explore to see what is left outside these walls. Now, I do got to tell you guys, thank you so much for all the support that you guys have been showing the channel. We are so close to 4,000 subscribers. I am so happy. Also, if you guys didn't know, I have started a TikTok. Uh, I started one a long time ago, but I'm starting to post shorts on there. So um, I would love if you guys could go uh, follow the uh, TikTok. If you're on TikTok, catch me on there. I will be posting all my shorts and stuff on there as well. And probably newer videos. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing TikTok. Also, if you guys haven't seen the affiliate link, I am officially affiliated with GamingHero.io. So if, you, if you're interested in gold farming, uh, mount farming, toy collection, they got all different kind of guides on there. Please use my link. I'll put it in the comment section below. Go check it out. I'm trying to help them grow. It's... A really great place if you want to learn uh, new tips and tricks on how to get gold or how to farm gold in World of Warcraft. So anyways, let's continue with the video. So far, as we break out of bounds, there isn't too much to see. But I'm ex what I'm curious to see is what's over these mountains and what's over here. So you know what? Let's start on the right side first. Let's go take a look and see if the Halls of Origination dungeon um, is actually still out there. If they kept the dungeon, I don't know. And like I said before, I do like the ambience of these dungeons. I like the desert. It's pretty cool. I actually lived in the desert for about a year over in Phoenix in Arizona. So I do understand what it's like to be out in the desert. There is beauty in it. It does get very hot, <laughs> I will tell you. So if you're not used to the heat, don't go live in the desert. As some days were up to 120 degrees. That was very rare, though. It you didn't really get 120, but between 110 and 120 degrees, there's not much of a difference. It's hot. It's just hot. So, By the way, I had posted a new community um, voting page or post. If you guys want to see me do other content other than World of Warcraft in the future, please let me know. Most of the votes have gotten into Classic and Hardcore WoW, so I'm definitely going to be making some videos on those coming up. I've actually never ran a Hardcore WoW character or tune, 
So I'm very excited to do that. I don't know how far I'm going to get. Probably not very far. I'm not very good at World of Warcraft. This is why I do uh, OOB stuff. <laughs> Just for fun. I'm a casual player. So, Alright, so we made our way to our first runes area here. As you can tell, they do keep some of the asset and props back here. Some people are getting annoyed at me saying textured, so I'm going to keep saying textured. So I think it's funny. So as you can tell, everything is textured out here. <laughs> so I think it's pretty good. Now they do they do keep the fire burning out here, which is pretty cool. I do like the snakes on the fire pit. It's so interesting to me, like I say this a lot in videos, but it's so interesting to me that uh, Blizzard keeps so much stuff that you're never supposed to see. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to make our way up this way, and it does look like they do keep the Halls of Origination out here. Well, you can see the edge of the world. We definitely don't want to go jump in there. I actually came out here not too long ago, and I actually jumped in tried to jump into here and I got stuck in the wall so be careful you will get stuck now let's go down here and see if the halls of origination entrance portal is still here now it does the game does recognize us that we are in a building so we did get dismounted oh no way so the halls of origination entrance is still here <laughs> it's cool to see a dungeon within a dungeon can we go in and we get stopped can we go through Mm, I don't think so. Nah, doesn't look like we're going to be able to go through. Because I'm curious to see what's actually, how much is actually back there. Can we get a look? Problem is, this stupid pillar's blocking our way. So we're going to head back out. But that's pretty cool that they do keep another dungeon entrance in another dungeon. It's like a dungeonception. Oh, let's keep going here. Let's head back. I do love the architecture of these dungeons. Love the Egyptian type theme of Oldham. I think it makes for a really good setting. And as you can see over here, some of the map is cut off, so they don't keep everything out here. It's so weird that, you know, I don't know if it's just laziness, but like, it's just so weird that they're like, you know what, let's keep some of Halls of Origination, but let's just keep some of the walls, and then we're just going to cut off the rest of the map. Like, I don't know, it's just strange to me. But I guess they have their points here of what they want to keep. Now we do have the wind effects that are back over here with the little bit of a sandstorm going on remember we saw those in the um the other dungeon we just broke out of yesterday the halls of origination and as you can see over here we did find the edge of the world finally and there is water ah interesting What's interesting, I'm sure you could probably swim. Ah, so the map does go pretty far down. As you can tell, it does drop off. You can get a little glimpse over here on this side. <clears throat> and there is a tent encampment out here that they do keep with some texture stuff and assets. Let's make our way back up this way. We do have a cogwheel trail here going on. Different parts and stuff. Man, I love this mount. I use this mount a lot in all my Out of Bounds. I think because I spent so long trying to get this mount. This mount took forever to get. And it only comes around every, like, so often. So... I had to collect like 300 bones of archaeology to get this mount. Now this is cool. It does keep the two original statues with the door out here. And a bunch of dynamite on the ground. Definitely don't want to light that up. 
Let's go take a look over the edge of the world here. So the map does drop off. And you can see there is water out there because part of the dungeon does have water where you fight Lakma. And you can get another glimpse over here as well. I do love the audio and music in this dungeon. Can you guys can you guys let me know? Can you hear the audio a lot of times? You know, I can turn let me turn up the music volume. I feel like I'm always listening to the music. And uh, I'm always like, ah, oh, it's so good. And then some people have made some comments of like, dude, we can't hear the music. <laughs> so I'll, I'll turn up the volume here a little bit. I just don't want to overwhelm you guys with a loud video of, you know, footsteps and me doing dashes and stuff. Now, this is cool. So they did keep uh, the Vortex Pinnacle out here. I wonder if the instance portal is actually up there. I'm assuming it is because they did keep Halls of Origination. Um, well, actually, the instant portal wasn't there, right, for Halls of Origination, so maybe not. But it would be cool to get up there. Unfortunately, it's kind of impossible because we can't fly in the dungeon. If we could, then we could get up there, but we can't. Now, it does recognize we are indoors. And look at that. You got a face going on here. That's interesting. It's a weird picture. You know what? I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Add it to my screenshot collection. Because that's a weird face going on. I never noticed that. And here we are. Some more water on the back side of the dungeon. As you can see, you can get a good shot of the dungeon from outside here. It's not very big. It's pretty small. And that is where you actually fight Lok Ma. And uh, we're going to head back out this way. And you know what? Why are we using this mount when we should be on the camel? Where is our camel? Let's go grab our camel real quick. Oops. We want the brown or the tan one. Let's do the brown camel. I was going to say, we should be using our camel. What are we doing? This is Oldham. This is the desert theme. Alright, we're going to make our way out this way. And we're going to go back around to go see the other side of the dungeon now. Because I'm curious to what they keep out that way. We're going to make our way down this way. I meant to actually go around. I hope you guys can hear the music now. I think it makes a cool vibe out here, especially in the desert. It's cool to be in Oldham, but in like an instant version of Oldham. It's so real, you know? I'm going to be quiet for a minute and let you guys enjoy the scenery. It's so interesting to me that they keep some of the water effects, but they don't keep the water outside. But I get it. I guess water is a lot to load in. Now that's an interesting shot right there. It does go in the ground there. 
Oh, we can't get out there. Okay, there's a wall. <laughs> Alright, that's okay. We're gonna keep making our way along the path here. Now, I don't think there's anything back there, but you can kind of get a good little shot of the trees and the out-of-bounds area back there. Let's go make our way up the mountains here, like Uncle Rico would say. And we haven't got on one top on top of one of those statues yet. We gotta go do that as well. That would make a cool shot of the whole dungeon. But let's go on the back side this way, because we haven't explored this way yet. We did explore the other side already. And let's go see what's back here. Now we do find the edge of the world again. But not too much. It's weird that the moon and the sun is in one place here. You see that? Behind me is the moon, or the, the sun. And then over there on that side is like the moon. So, I don't know, like maybe it's just where you're at. It's the different skybox. <laughs> I don't know, I thought that was kind of interesting. <laughs> now we definitely are going to get on top of there so we can go see the statue up above. Ah, uh, now this is awesome. So they do keep a lot of the stuff out here as well. And I love the floating, like, clouds, like, mist up in the air. See, you see the moon. There's the moon. We saw the sun back there. So there's the moon and the sun on one map. That's rare, huh? And fun fact, Azeroth's moon is actually blue. So, there you go. As our fact of the day. Now let's go cruise into town here. Oh, I like this setup here. We got a cool fountain. With some windmill action going on here. For all you ATN fans, a lot of this is textured. <laughs> they do keep a lot of assets out here. So well, that's cool. Let's go head out this way and then we'll go look in there. I want to go see if there's anything out here first. Oh, there is a underground area. Okay, we're going to have to go down there as well. I didn't see that at first. It looks like a lot of the map is uh, still rendered out here. Man, I love, I just love the feeling of like being out in the Oldham Desert, but you're in like an instant version of it. <laughs> I don't know. There's just something cool about it. I enjoy the desert. I did my, I did enjoy my time living in Arizona. It was a lot of fun. If you've never visited Arizona, I do highly recommend it. The Grand Canyon's beautiful. And there's a lot of cool places to go see out there. Looks like we did find the edge of the world again. Look at the random box texture out there in the middle of nowhere. We definitely got to go swim out there and see what the heck that is. Look at that. There's something out there in the water. I don't know what that is. Now I'm curious. Curiosity gets the best of me sometimes. Alright, we're going to keep walking back this way. Or riding, I guess you could say. I'm so glad we can ride a mount out here. Ugh, makes it so much nicer. A lot of times when you gotta walk around dungeons in the outside, it takes forever, and it sucks. Just like Halls of Origination, I had to do that. Um, that video was cool, but it sucks having to walk everywhere. Now let's see how much is actually on the back side over here. They do keep a lot of the doors and tombs and all that. I don't think normally you're supposed to get in there anyways. Let's get another shot of the uh, back side of the dungeon here. Oh, we are hitting a wall, so there goes the boundary wall. So let's head back this way, and let's go explore that tunnel we found underground there. I didn't even notice that. Let's make a jump. Parkour camel. 
Camel parkour. There we go. All right, we're going to go into our glide. That was really cool, huh? Getting off my camel into flight here. Oh, there's nothing down here. It's just a just a door. Okay, I thought it was going to be more. That's okay. That's cool to see, though. Now, the ultimate thing is we need to get on top of there. And I think we can do some maneuver and parkour here. If you guys stick around and watch this. There might even be an easier way to get up there. Let's go look on the back side real quick. Because I think there was like a easier path to get on top of the statue there. But let's head back out that way. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. As I am make I love making them. I'm having a lot of fun doing these out of bounds stuff. Um, I know a lot of you have mentioned uh, Haven Games and Hidden Azeroth and stuff. You know, it's th thank you. You know, it's a big honor to um, to be mentioned with those guys. They did a lot of cool things for OOB and especially Haven. I know he's no longer with us, but um, it's cool to be able to keep the OOB stuff going in World of Warcraft. And I I hope that I can. Um, you know, make these videos and do them well uh, with my own spin on them. You know, I, I don't ever want to copy anyone. Definitely want to do my own content and make sure I'm doing, you know, fun stuff with them. So, but it's cool to be uh, mentioned with other OB content people. All right, let's see if we can climb some of this here. I'm assuming we could probably get up this way. What we may need to do is actually switch the fell rush because it's going to be a lot easier to scale the mountains. I mean, I think. So what we can do is we can make our way up here, make our way up here, make our way up here, barely, <laughs> but we did it. Um, let's go up here. Oh, we're going to need a second fell rush. So let's wait a second. Unless we can metamorphose this. I don't think we can. We're almost to the top. We just need to get up here and then we can make our way around this way. Ah, uh, barely. Okay. So what we might need to do is do a different plan here. Here we go. Maybe we can use this to our advantage. Maybe not. Oh boy. Are we going to make it? Oh yeah, we did it. All right. First try. Let's go. We just need to get up here. We can get up here. Ah, we were so close. Let's try again. What we might want to do is vengeful retreat. There we go. Hmm. Our core. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can make our way up this way. There we go. Guys, look at that. I still got it. Easy. Easy. Look at that. We get to make our way up the cool mountain and we get to go see this statue up close. Oh yeah. And there goes a cool shot of the moon. Now here's the real question. Can we climb on top of the statue? That's going to be the real challenge. Or are we going to hit a wall? Now that's a cool shot of the old dungeon here. Let's get a zoomed in shot here. I can show you guys. This is awesome. We're going to get a screenshot. Add it to our screenshot collection. And uh. I don't think we can climb that. <laughs> but it's cool that we could get up here. So I'm very proud. Alright guys. Well this was a fun exploration. Of the lost city of the Tolvir. I had a lot of fun doing this video. It's really cool to see everything that Blizzard keeps outside these maps. Um, and I think we're just going to end the video here. So I want to thank everybody for the continued support on the channel. Everyone's awesome. You guys are great. I mean, just so cool <laughs> to, I don't know, to do these videos. It's a big honor, like I had said earlier. And um, I just, I love that we're growing the ATN Discord. I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I love making them. And uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been being so kind with the comments and the likes and the uh, all the fun stuff we've been doing in the ATN Discord. 
if you guys have just been super nice and like great friends to have in there uh by the way if you haven't joined the 18 discord i highly recommend you do i'll put a link in the comment section below and uh yeah all right guys as always my name is nathan i will catch you on the next one take care